Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Rani in the Kitchen. I'm Rani Agunia. Today I'll be showing you how I make matoke with peanuts. It's simple, it's easy. The ingredients are simple and they're easy and of course it's fast. Maybe around 15 to 20 minutes and the meals will be ready. So let me take you through the ingredients so that you can start cooking. Chicken cube, the new one for Reiko. Onion, curry powder, best known as simbambili. I have salt and of course the matoke that I've already peeled, clean and of course you're going to need some oil which is already in the sufuria that I'll be using today. So start with the onions. So just let your onions stretch a little bit, don't burn them. Stay like that until you see if they're like translucent. Then you're adding the tomatoes. Add, I normally add the tomatoes and the tomato paste at the same time. So tomato paste you just use a little. And then you're going to give it some time, about three minutes, for the tomatoes to cook well before we add in the next ingredient. As our tomatoes cook, I'm going to add in the maggi cube and the chicken cube that I'm using. You can as well use vegetable cube if you have a can. So that's the chicken cube and the maggi cube. And then I'm adding in the curry powder, which I say, I, which I say is mm, commonly known as kimbambili. Just adding a little. So this curry powder is normally good for vegetables. It makes the, the vegetables taste better and the aroma. And then I'm going to add in a pinch of salt. which I'll be balancing my seasoning later when the matoke will be ready. And then from here, we are going to add in our matoke. And then we're just going to mix everything for some time, for about two minutes. So we add in cold water. So we give it a few minutes and as you can see, my tomatoes are cooked. The way you know that your tomatoes are cooked is when they start separating from the oil. You know that I feel and I believe that they are ready. I'm going to add in some water, enough to cook the bananas, the matoke. And of course for you to be left with some stew. is enough so what I'm going to do I'm going to cover it for about 10 minutes and give the matoke some humble time to cook before we add in the peanut that I blended so as you can see our water has reduced completely so it's just remaining a few so before we switch it on because my peanuts they had I had already roasted them or rather I bought them they were roasted <laughs> so I'm just going to add on top and as you add your peanuts don't mix don't stir the dish just leave it to boil for a few minutes before you mix everything together so for the peanuts you just you can measure the amount you want if you want a lot you add more you increase the quantity if you want less you put some little peanuts yeah, but for me, I want my stew very, very thick. That's why I've used a lot of it. But you can always change. If you don't let peanuts, you just use less quantity. It's still going to be okay. So I'll let it sim 
снимал по вот 3 минуты и полицал. Guys, as you can see, our matoke is ready. It looks so delicious. I can't wait to begin. And I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. And I'll see you next time. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.